Retreat experiences, I mean, are really valuable to me. Uh, it, it provides me with the capability of going out and leading retreats as a peer minister. Uh, for me, I find it really interesting, not only integrating activities, but also knowing the students who go on the retreats, freshmen, sophomore, and juniors alike. Uh, as I'm going into my senior year, I get to see many different changes in the students' behavior, you know, associated with Lasallian truths about having morale in the Lasallian school. So really to me, I think it's really just so remarkable on how different it is each time I go on these retreats. And not only that, is at the end, in comparison with the beginning, it's how, you know, just how different it is. It's just what's so remarkable about, remarkable about De La Salle students here at, at school, so. On retreat, we go to LaSalle Manor, and at the manor, what they make us do is put our cell phones and iPods away in a box, and we don't get it back until when the retreat is over. And what it does without that connection to the electronic world and to the world outside of the retreat, it really en enhances how we can connect with God and pray and not have any distractions. And while we're on these retreats, it's very focused around ourselves and our lives and what we've done with God and what we want to continue to do with Him in our life. It was a great experience. Um, we went to LaSalle Manor down in Plano, Illinois. Uh, we stayed there overnight. We had different activities to build a relationship with God as well as our classmates to understand and uh, learn about each other more in uh, depth. So. I like the retreats because it gives me a chance to meditate on what's really important in my life, like what I'm thankful for and opportunities just to think to myself. Instead of having, you know, in a classroom where you hear everybody else's ideas and then you have to come up with something like theirs, like, oh yeah, well, uh, I do the same thing. No, it's more of an individual basis, so that's what I like about them. Service, well, like I said, with retreats, it provides me with a willingness to lead, so service kind of manipulates that leadership into, like, doing more activities such as uh, doing food drives, food pantries. Here we have the soup kitchen. We do that uh, on a monthly basis. And it's really, like I said, it really provides me with that, that uh, capability of going out and exerting my leadership, going out there and helping others that are in need, that really need you know, food that, you know, that we can get easily, so easily from the lunchroom, from our houses. Um, we provide what they don't have. One of my favorite service projects that I've done was going down to Guatemala for an 11 day service trip. And what we did down there was we worked with the community and whatever they needed help with, we went to their homes or service sites or their job places and we worked with them doing whatever they needed us to do. My service projects, um, I went to like different schools and different nursing homes to help out with each, uh, the people that's in need. Um, I believe that uh, God chooses different people to do different things to help each other, you know, help one another out and he speaks to us in different ways. We go to areas that are impoverished like in West Virginia and we help out the community in the service. We helped out like painting this one house, the frosty color. I don't know if that's brown or chocolate brown. It was a fun experience. And it, it's really good for me to see like the faces of the people you're helping because everyone's made from God. So, you know, you see God inside those images and the people that help you work. When I was a sophomore, I used to look up, you know, to leaders, trying to ask them, you know, how can I, you know, make my school a bit better? How can I reach out to others? Well, um, you know, after doing all this, you know, getting into peer ministry, doing all those activities, I learned so much about it. And, you know, just going out there and doing it basically every day, not only here, but also expanding, you know, my versatility with this, going out and helping out others like, in, you know, like an everyday basis. I feel like I'm closer to God by doing retreats and services because at the retreat I can reflect on what I've done and what I want to do and when I'm on the service trips I can actually put these plans into action. Um, I think it uh, played a big part in getting me going closer to God uh, to show me that I'm you know, fortunate to go to a Catholic school here at De La Salle Institute and that uh, other people are, that are in need, someone can, you know, when I, if I was in need, someone can help me out as well as I'm helping someone else's out. Well, I think it makes my faith stronger because, I mean, you see all these things that are like, oh, yeah, well, this is happening and, you know, a hurricane comes in, a tsunami comes in, and people question, like, why does God make this happen? But, I mean, you, you can't question that. It's more of what the people are doing to help them that's the question. That's really what God's grace is. The people that go down there to help out with the people with the tsunami. 
And that's really strengthened my faith because it's like, wow, there's people who are going out there, you know, they're giving up whatever day they were going to do or whatever they're going to do for that week or how many days they're there, and they're helping the people who need help. And it shows real humanity and what God's message really is.